Welcome everyone to another episode of Ranted 3 Plays And this is the third and final Happy Holidays Tank Edition uh, Third and final episode In which The first one I bought uh, um, Centurion Action X You'll find that video on my channel One of the first games I had in the Centurion The second one you'll have the IS-4 um, again, one of the first games I had in IS-4, just to show how how strong these tanks are, despite not having much experience in them. And the third tier 10 tank I bought over the holidays period to take advantage of wargaming discounts is the E50M German tier 10 Russian medium tank, uh, German medium tank. And here we are on cliff. Just look at that guys, firing on the move, full bloom. I look for my next target, not the E5, make it the CDC. Full bloom, firing on the move, hits again. That's what I really love about this tank, this is only my second game in this tank and I'm really I'm loving how well the gun performs. Look at that guys, wherever you point the cursor, there's almost no bloom at all. And it hits. I've got this tank fitted out with gun rammer, fence, as well as vertical stabilizer. That is likely making the difference and allowing me to hit those out outrageous targets on the move, even across uneven terrain, where every bump and dip will cause problems to the aim. But I get into this really strong position really quickly. And it's a really important position for the enemy medium tank for the team's medium tank to be in because it ensures that light tanks will have it really tough to climb up the hill. That T54 tried his luck. But I was looking and I was waiting and he was taken out. After getting rid of the threat of tanks going up the hill. I decide it's time to work on this flank. I notice the E5 is distracted looking at the way, leaving only soft CDC in this spot. And he actually takes a fire shot just before I shoot him. It's a double tap with the leopard. So now we're putting pressure on the enemy team from this flank. The first CDC gets taken out in the game. Object 140 realizes what's going on and turns around. Object 140 has got really strong frontal armor angle like that. It's not easy. Decided to back off a little bit. Disappear a bit. Look for the next target. E50 behind me has got supporting me. Who's it gonna be? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Quite heat there. 140 didn't pen hit him at the wrong angle. But I decide to be really aggressive about this. Boom! Somehow the CDC comes out for some reason. Probably didn't think I'd reload it yet. And that puts him down. Actually comes looking for me. I take a snapshot at the E5 and walk with the shot. Object puts one right into me. And I back off. I know there's no, absolutely no way I'm going to be able to end an E5 head on. Action's fast and furious guys so far. Already 2,000 trainers damage done. And, oh, gotta get away quick, gotta get away quick. This guy's greedy, he'll come out again. And when he does, when I take a shot at him. I know I can't bounce the E5. So I have to back off, I have to back off, I can't. I can't go to head to head with that monster tier 10 heavy American tank, so I back off. Keep on backing off. He shanks his shot. Hopefully I'll have some, some support from the from the rear. Look at how accurate that gun is guys. I have absolutely no time to aim whatsoever. It still hit and went right through. Back off, back off, back off. I can't handle the E5. I track him. That gives me time to get away. 
He fires. He's got about 8.5 second reload. We're looking for the shot. The Tiger 2 and the Spick are already behind him. And I can see this is my chance. They're turning around. Put one right into the side of his tank. I'm hunting for the object. I know he's low health. He's a one shot. He's foolish. Look at that, guys. Even on the move, even stopping the shoot like that, no time whatsoever to let the target vertical close in, but it hits. Accuracy in this tank is just so outrageous. Put one to the side. I need to rely on the Tiger 2 to help me out here. Spit gets taken out. And the Tiger 2 does put in a good shot to bring him down to within kill range of my next shot. Hard for him. He had to come on the corner and aim. Not easy. I just had to wait for him to appear and take my shot. Wow guys, 4,200 points of damage. This game is nearly over. What what a game. Six degrees of gun depression allows me to do some peekaboo behind this dude. From the really 450 damage right into the ISU. Is he still there? Nope. He's not, he backed off already. I should have relocated as I was reloading, but I reacted a little bit slowly, and thus I was in position when the ISU became available again and gets taken out. That's it, guys! 4,661 points of damage, over 5,000 win a game. It's just a fantastic, fantastic result in the E50M. My, literally my second game in this tank, and already the results speak volumes for how great this tank is. The gun is amazing, probably the best tier 10 medium gun in the game in terms of accuracy, reload and punch. It's a really wonderful tank guys. I'm gonna enjoy the months to come as I play with this tank a lot more. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video please give it a like and subscribe. The channel really does help it out a lot and I'll see you again next time. Take care.